What is this? Uh, just wait. Something cool is gonna happen. <laughs> and welcome back to Facts of Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And let's head back to Michigan for that sovereign citizen saga that just don't seem to end. What you are witnessing is real. Good afternoon once again. Are you Rosalind Ray Keenan? Uh, this is file 23915FY. Ms. Keenan is charged with resisting instructing a police officer and driving suspended. Uh, that allegedly occurred in the village of White Pigeon on May 16th. Um, the defendant was arraigned on this. We had some discussion, and I encouraged her to get an attorney to assist her with that, and she was not really in favor of that. But I said, well, let's appoint an attorney. You can discuss it with him and then determine how we want to proceed at that time. Ms. Keenan, resisting obstructing a police officer is a felony. It's punishable by up to two years in prison and a fine of up to $2,000. The driving charge carries uh, two points up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500 and it requires that your license be further suspended. When we were here earlier, Mr. Marvin had made a, what I consider to be a very generous plea offer, but we weren't able to get to that point. And so the matter was set for a preliminary examination today. A preliminary examination is a hearing where it must be established in order to go forward, that there's probable cause to believe a crime was committed and probable cause that you did it. So I'll defer to you, Mr. Bush. Where are we here today? Well, there's a, a number of issues for the court to hear. Um, Ms. Keenan is asking for a 30-day adjournment so she can review the discovery. I, I believe She's been provided with most of the discovery, but that is her request. There is just Mr. Marvin, are there video? Uh, everything camera? that I have, she has. Uh, including video? Yes. Okay. I don't know. She may have. I have it. Okay. Put it that way. There's a very short police report and some audio visual evidence. All right. Ms. Keenan, is that true? You're going to ask to adjourn this matter 30 days? I was asking, uh, requesting that from him. Okay. Oh, well, I don't. I put it in writing in an email and asked a few things. But... Well, and I told her that I would make that request. I mean, we just met and uh, we really haven't had a chance to go through any of this. Mr. Marvin, what's your thought? First of all, I just want to make it clear that the offer is still available to resolve this. Um, I do have a problem, though, with pulling Officer Hansen off the job as many times as we have. This has been, I'd say he spent at least four hours sitting here waiting for these, and this one, one adjournment after the next. Um, I don't know what a 30-day adjournment would do. I don't know for what reason there's nothing that i could see that hasn't been explained i don't know if it's going to do anybody any good i think we're going to be back in the same boat well we may yeah i felt your plea offer was very generous um it would result essentially in no conviction that's right and it would take the driving charge away yes and also i recently found out that that's been restored anyway. So part of my offer was um, get that restored and then I will, uh, there'll be a, a plea to a um, attempt to know, and then that will be dismissed if if uh, there's smooth sailing for, I would ask for uh, about six months. But at any time before then, I plan on dismissing this. Um, Ms. Keenan and I had a pretty animated discussion the first day. 
And then the second day, it was much more subdued, and I encouraged her to get an attorney to help her. She has a profound misunderstanding of how Michigan law works, both in the criminal code and the traffic code. Um, I refer to these people as Boro Groves. Um, they're commonly referred to as sovereign citizens, but I don't find any sovereign in it. She certainly is a citizen. So, Miss Keenan, I don't know enough about this. I wasn't there. You were there, and you experienced what you experienced. Apparently, there's video of it. Um, Mr. Marvin has offered for a plea and a deferral and a dismissal. I am pleased to hear you have your driver's license back, so I won't be dealing with that issue in the future. But you were allegedly suspended at the time of this. If you get convicted of the driving suspended charge, it's going to undo what you just did. It's going to take your license away. Uh, and Mr. Marvin's not really looking for that, but that could be the result of this. Um, so what more do you want, Ms. Keenan? Is this to be um, brought on record, what my asking of this man here in an email was? Yes. What are you asking for? I asked for a 30-day um, continuance so that I could put things together to defend my rights, to defend myself, um, not to excuse anything else, but to... Do you want Mr. Bush to represent you in this matter? I have been wanting okay. to, but uh, I want to be able to get to know him a little bit better because we did have a back-to-back -back magnet effect on some issues well today. and i envisioned that whoever got appointed to this would clash with you because you have and i can't tell whether the, these are sincerely held beliefs or just part of a contrary lifestyle whoever is providing you with this information as i said isn't doing you any favors and i'm not even sure the people that origin in fact i doubt that the people that originally this stuff even believe it it's so nonsensical admiralty law and code of civil procedure and things that just didn't apply to this but I do apologize. Officer Hansen's been here multiple times. Um, but if 30 days could help resolve this rather than bind this over to circuit court on a felony charge, maybe it's worth it. Let's see, Mr. Bush, when your next duty week is. Now, you can hire a lawyer if you wish, but I don't think you're going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to pay anybody money to try to provide the defense that you want. Um, they just will decline to accept you as a client because they don't need that aggravation. In fact, I would be amazed if you could find somebody that you could hire that's a licensed attorney in the state of Michigan that would pursue the kind of defenses that you want. Plus, you don't have a lot of money, and so you're eligible for court-appointed counsel anyway. But um, I would tell you to go hire your own lawyer. We aren't be able to find one. And if I appoint someone other than Mr. Bush, you're going to have the same issues you have with him that you're having with Mr. Bush. I'm going to continue this for a prelim. How about if we set a pre-exam conference so we don't have to drag Officer Hansen in here? That's reasonable. If you just set it on my duty week for pre-exam Well, the problem is your duty week isn't way until the end of 
September. I, I, I don't know that, Justin. Uh, you don't have another duty week till December 25th. Um, that's why I'm going about 30 days. Uh, I'll set a pre-exam conference for August. If I put it on August 15th. At 8.30. That way you don't need a subpoena, don't need to drag Deputy Hansen in here. If the matter is resolved, we can deal with that. If it isn't, we can schedule a preliminary examination at that time. So um, we'll leave it at that. Um, do you have any questions you want to ask yeah. at this time? You're continuing it? Then? Yes, I am. I'm granted your. You. All right, I'll just leave it at that. All right, you're free to go. You can't fix stupid. And thanks for joining us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can meet a live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a major thank you to our channel members, Robert Morley and D. Chris Kelling, Goddess of Truth, Pedro Bacamole, Pat's Cat, Sean Oldfart, Drew B, CW1960, and Butcher Bird. Wanishi. Thank you. If you'd like to become a member, just hit that join button right next to subscribe or click on the link in the description. Now, if you're still hanging around, why not hit that subscribe button? Yeah, you might like it. Hit the thumbs up, and if you'd like to support the channel, hit the thanks button. Until next time, Wanishi, thank you. I'll see you soon.